K-pop star Sully's tragic loss becomes a brutal wake-up call for the K-pop world. Before I get into the story, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to Sully, SM Entertainment, or anyone else involved in this story. This video is simply meant to report on the news and give some insight on the situation. In 2009, Sully debuted as a member of FX, a girl group launched by SM Entertainment, South Korea's largest entertainment group. SM has created some of the country's most iconic artists and groups, such as BOA, Kangta, Girls' Generation, and Super Junior. In 2014, Sully took a break from FX due to stress-related pain, despite reaching domestic and some international success. At the time, she received major backlash for openly dating rapper Chiza, a rarity among K-pop stars. I don't like Sully anymore. She's a s Sully is a sex addict now. According to the New York Times, dating makes K-pop stars less alluring to fans. Some stars have been fired for breaking these clauses, including 4 Minutes Hyuna and rapper Lee Don. Dating bans are common in the K-pop music industry for this reason. In August 2015, SM Entertainment announced that Sully would be leaving FX for good to focus on her acting career. After negotiating with Sully, who is currently taking a break, about her future activities, we have decided to respect her wishes and she'll be leaving FX and focusing on her acting. In January 2017, Sports Show Sun, the largest sports and entertainment newspaper in South Korea, wrote an article about Sully called, Does Sully Dream of Being Korea's Kim Kardashian? In the article, reporter Lee Sung Mi wrote about Sully's controversies and compared her to reality star Kim Kardashian. Currently, to the Korean public, Public, Sully's position is similar. Sully left girl group FX in August 2015. Since then, she has turned to acting but has failed to show clear results. In June 2017, Sully starred in a movie called Real, where she played a rehab therapist who used narcotics. Her convincing acting sparked rumors that she actually used the substances, which is heavily frowned upon in South Korea. According to The Guardian, officials work to project an image of a free nation, and celebrities caught smoking are often paraded in front of media for apology tours. In October 2018, Sully posted a now-deleted Instagram video where she revealed that she suffers from panic disorder and social phobia. Even close people left me. I was hurt by them and felt there was nobody who understands me, which made me fall apart. The video was meant to be a teaser for her reality TV show, Jinri Store, which showed her journey as the CEO of her own pop-up store. In January 2019, Sully shared how she felt about criticism she received on her Instagram posts and begged people to be nice to her. 저한테만 유독 세안경 끼고 보시는 분들이 좀 많아서 좀 그런 것들이 좀 속상하기는 하죠. 기자님들 저좀 예뻐해 주세요. <웃음> 시청자님들 저좀 예뻐해 주세요. In April 2019, South Korea's constitutional court ruled that the country's strict ban on was unconstitutional and that all related laws will require revisions by the end of 2020 for the first time in 66 years. Sully celebrated the news on Instagram by posting a photo of flowers and wrote, 2019 411 abortion is abolished, glorious day, give every woman a choice. Several people started bashing her online and even called her stupid. Meanwhile, others called her amazing and woke. On June 11th, Sully co-hosted The Night of Hate Comments, a talk show where celebrities read and address malicious comments about them. In the first episode, she addressed the backlash she received for going braless and said she continued to help end the stigma. She added that she hopes people could accept each other's differences and that there are so many unique types of people in South Korea with so much talent who she felt were wasting it by critiquing others. On June 29th, Sully debuted as a solo artist with a single called Goblin. In the music video, she portrays someone with a disassociative disorder who imagines herself with three personalities. According to Billboard, mental health is still largely considered taboo in Korea, but Sully seemed to be embracing the idea for her K-pop comeback. On October 14th, Sully, whose real name is Choi Jin Ri, was found unconscious in her Songnam residence. She was 25 years old. In a statement, the Songnam Sujung Police Department said, Chai seemed to have lived alone in the house, and no signs of a struggle or forced entry has been identified to suggest. During an inspection, the police discovered a notepad containing Sully's handwritten thoughts and feelings. 
While they confirmed it was not a note, they said they will not be revealing what she wrote to the public. The incident prompted an outpouring of grief and calls to end the bullying that K-pop stars face when straying from the industry's traditional norms. Sully was subjected to relentless online bullying and because she refused to conform to norms forced upon Korean women and women artists in Korean pop music. Unless the K-pop industry and fans introspect and think about the consequences of this nothing will change. How many more idols need to pass before this industry takes their mental health seriously and stops treating them as disposable objects? When is Korea going to start taking responsibility for mental health? Sully's passing is raising mental health awareness, but we all know what else could Poor management from the K-pop industry. Idols aren't that privileged. They train like and eat like Literally everything they do is being monitored. On October 18th, The Guardian said the industry is now under scrutiny over toxic fandom. The this week of the South Korean singer and actor Sully has turned the spotlight on the darkest corners of the highly pressurized K-pop industry and sparked anger over the failure of management agencies to protect their stars from the menace of toxic fandom. They also noted that a number of K-pop stars and celebrities have ended their lives in the last decade. In 2009, actress Jang ja Yun, who starred in Boys Over Flowers, left a letter detailing mistreatment by politicians, business and newspaper executives, and industry figures. I live with the dream of an actor. For that dream, I had to endure the money-forcing and repetitive swear words and of his agency, the content entertainment Kim Sung-hoon. I am a weak and powerless new actor. I want to get out of this pain. In 2017, Shiny's lead singer Kim Jong-hyun also left a letter and wrote that his depression consumed him and that the life of fame was not for him. Shiny was also launched by SM Entertainment. They told me to find out why I hurt. I know too well. I hurt because of me. It's all my fault and all because I'm lacking. Doctor, is this what you wanted to hear? No, I have done nothing wrong. When the gentle voice blamed my personality, I thought, damn, being a doctor is easy. On October 20th, Newsys, a South Korean independent news agency, wrote that a growing number of people are pointing out the widespread misogyny in Korean society as the underlying cause of Sully's passing. In an interview, Young Kim Jung, a professor at the Institute of Body Culture Research at Kongkuk University, said, to express her beliefs in declaring her no bra stance, welcoming the unconstitutional ruling on or praising her appearance would have been read as a provocation by men. The misogynistic behavior was to show that women like Sully can be punished and crushed with the authority of men. Newsys also wrote that the Korean Federation of Trade Unions, a labor force in South Korea, made a rare position on the issue. They sent a condolence message and described Sully as a comrade of young women who had fought together against misogyny. On October 21st, Pastor Kim hyung Kook shared that Sully came to his office two years ago. She revealed that she had tried to take her life before. I didn't think her condition was bad at that time. I told her I could put a band-aid on it, but that it would be better to solve the fundamental problem. He also shared that he connected her to other acquaintances and recommended that she attend Bible study and worship. While she was unable to continue, he would sometimes send her text messages and mail. On that same day, South Korea's culture minister, Park Yang-woo, said that he feels deeply responsible for what happened to Sully and that he will come up with measures to protect the private lives of people. So, what's the big issue? What Sully endured speaks volumes about the dark side of the K-pop industry and how many stars aren't protected. On Come to Play, a South Korean variety show, Sully shared that she moved to Seoul alone in the fourth grade to become a trainee. She later confessed that it was hard being a trainee and that living apart from her parents at a young age was difficult. Within the past year, several other trainees have come forward to share their experiences. They said they were restricted from seeing their family and had to rely on them for financial support. Former Crayon Pop member Wei said she had to ask her agency for permission to see her family. Wei also said she didn't receive any money as a trainee, even when her group toured on Lady Gaga's art pop tour. Wei 
첫 정사는. 어, 그래서 레이디 가가 콘서트 가기 전에도 뭐 어쨌든 큰 이벤트이다 보니까 당연히 그래도 좀 돈을 벌 거라고 이제 생각을 하고 이제 갔다 와서 이제 뭐 정산이나 이런 걸할때 어, 너네는 각자 앞에 얼마의 빚이 생겼으니 어, 너네가 한달 동안 미국에 갔다 온 동안 행사도 못한 것도 있고 하니까 빨리 앞으로 이제 행사나 이런 걸 해야 너네가 그런 빚을 갚을 수 있다 이렇게 얘기를 하시는 거예요. 그래서 South Korean rapper Grazy Grace said she didn't receive any money as a trainee either and that a lot of her friends had to get part-time jobs after they debuted. While up-and-coming stars can earn money from appearing on TV and radio shows, Grace said they typically learn less than $100 and have to split the money with their members. Breaking down within five to six to even more members, and then you have to pay for the shop or the makeup that you get done, the nails, the clothing, the gas and the food it takes to get there. I mean, literally, you're making nothing off of it. You're actually at the minus budget. She also said some of today's top stars aren't so safe when compared to the up-and-coming ones. You guys know that a lot of idols start YouTube, right? I was even shocked to hear that even these bigger artists were under a company. The company doesn't allow you to make any revenue from the videos. Famous groups are not so safe either. I even heard recently that there's one girl group that are part of like the top 10. I mean, they're famous. That they only get paid about 6% each member. And they're one of the top groups. Former actress Yoon ji o said she received less than 500 US dollars a month. And that her CEO wouldn't let her get a part time job because she had to save face for him and the company. She also said when opportunities weren't coming in, her agency would send her to meet people who were the same age as her father. After testifying as a formal witness in Jia Zhang Yun's case, Yun Ji o said her career took a pretty big hit. 그리고 이제 대놓고서 어디션 가도 분명히 약사 역할로 갔는데 갑자기 뭐 술집 작부 역할을 해봐라, 뭐술 따르는 역할을 해봐라, 술 마셔서 취한 연기를 해봐라 이런 대본에도 없고 어떤 사람들은 대놓고 네가 개라면 뭐. 너 공부 잘하는데 그냥 공부해 뭘 연예인을 하려고 하니 어차피 너 못해 막 이런 식으로 나중에 몇년 후에는 그렇게 얘기를 하는 거야 연기만 하려고 평생을 살아왔는데 이게 제약이 되니까 너무 감당하기가 어렵고 힘들더라 뭘 She said one of the biggest reasons why she stopped pursuing her dream of becoming an actress is because of an experience she had with an agency president 되게 좋은 분인 줄 알았어요 그래서 식사하는 이런 낮 시간에 식사를 하고 있었는데 저한테 강남으로 이사를 하라는 거예요. 제가 지금 그 강남 쪽으로 갈수 있는 여건이 사실 안 된다라고 말씀드리니까 어뭐 말귀를 못 알아들으시네요. 제가 뭐집한 채를 해줄 테니까 거기서 절 만나면 된다는 거예요. 약간 스폰서 같은. 그렇죠. 그러니까 어렸을 때못 알아들었겠지만 이제 알아들으니까 너무 화가 난. 내가 그동안 내가 이 사람한테 속았다라는 배신감에 원래 그러면 안 됐었는데 나이 지긋한 어르신인데 따님이 있는 걸로 알고 있어가지고. 어 혹시 따님이 바깥에서 이런 얘기를 들으신다면 아비된 자로서 기분이 어떠실 것 같으세요? 라고 했더니 엄청 화가 나시더라고요. 얼굴이 빨개지셔가지고 저한테 엄청 소리를 크게 지르시면서 According to Soompi, a website that covers South Korean celebrity news, sponsors can be rich and influential men that pay large amounts of money and provide support and backing for celebrities who provide favors. On Heard It Through the Grapevine, a South Korean talk show, reporter Kim Yoo Sung revealed shocking information about sponsor lists. I personally met a businessman that received offers to sponsor. He said he received a list of female stars that included girl groups. I saw the list myself and was shocked. They included different tiers, levels, and the prices next to their names. In Sully's last interview with SBS, a South Korean TV and radio network, she opened up about how she was becoming more aware of how people saw her and said it felt like a horror movie. Even if I told someone I was having a difficult time, no one really listened to me. That was the most difficult for me. I tried to reach out for help before, but no one reached out to help me. That's when I broke down. I had no one to talk to. Sully isn't the only star who publicly shared that they didn't receive the help they needed, despite major red flags. When Yoon ji o testified as a witness in Jang ja Young's case, she ended up in serious car accidents and said it's possible they were set up. 차량 그게 검사도 하고 
그게 SUV 차량이고 튼튼한 차인데 어 그리고 나서 이제 근육이 놀랐으니까 이제 찢어지고 그 사이에 염증이 있는 상태여서 또 치료를 받는데 치료받은 지 이제 뭐 거의 1, 뭐 2, 2주가 안 되고 일주일 정도 되는 시점에 사고 한번더 있었는데 그것도 제 과실이 아니고 시내에서 빨간불에서 정차를 했었어요. 뒤에서 엄청난 속도로 와서 박았어요, 제 차를. 고의적인 것으로 보이 Yunjio said after the second accident, she stayed at a safe house and received a safety smartwatch from the police. They told her if she pressed the watch, the police, detectives, and an emergency hotline would be alerted and get to her in 10 minutes. There were three times where she pressed the watch and no one showed up. 첫 번째에서는 아예 출동도 안 했었고, 그건 이제 작년이죠. 경찰이 심지어 저에게 키가 몇이냐 그래서 제가 173입니다 라고 했더니 아 본인은 납치 걱정 안 해도 된다 그러면서 <웃음> 하시는 말이 음 170이 넘는, 넘으면 납치 기록이 없다 본인 자체가 위협적인 인물이어서 납치가 될수 없고 납치를 한다 해도 토막살인을 할 때에 시간이 너무 많이 할애가 되고 In another case, former Fly to the Sky member Brian Ju told CNN that he suffered from depression and had trouble seeking help. A year later, he posted screenshots of messages he received and begged his fans for help. Can anyone help with some psycho people who keep saying I did things to them when I haven't even met them in real life? This person has been f***ing me, my friends, and my family for years. Park Jong-suk, the head doctor at Yonsei Bomb Psychiatry, said, Living in the public eye can lead celebrities to have a lack of confidence, emotional instability, obsessive behavior, and inability to adapt. They can feel a sense of deprivation because they don't have enough time with their family and friends. The obsession to succeed and survive in extreme competition can also lead to an inferiority complex. Dr. Kim Hyung-soo, a psychologist and professor at Chosun University, said South Koreans are stressed, depressed, and are avoiding therapy at alarming rates. He believes that 80 to 90 percent of tragedies similar to Sully's in South Korea happen due to depression. Emma Kalka, the editor-in-chief of Groove Korea, a magazine that covers K-pop, said there's a lack of support when it comes to mental health issues across South Korea. It's very hush-hush. People don't talk about going to see therapists. It's taboo. Some therapists in the country provide their services at two different pay scales, one for those who claim back the costs from their health insurers, and a cheaper one for those who don't, because they feel they can't do so for fear that their company will find out they have sought professional help. Kalka added many stars worry about what their company will think and that they'll be disadvantaged in some way, since the Korean culture is about saving face. K-pop has become a global phenomenon that has made South Korea's economy richer over the last two decades. According to Bloomberg, global revenue from the industry reached a record of nearly $5 billion in 2016. And yet, more stars than ever have come forward to share heartbreaking experiences that have led to too many tragedies, making the industry known as the real-life Hunger Games. Many can agree it's time for government and industry officials to protect their stars' livelihoods. After everything the stars have done for their country's reputation, it only seems fair. What do you think about this story? Do you think the K-pop industry needs a major overhaul? Let me know in the comments below.